the ways that we get into back. So uh, we've already looked at um, turtle top where we kind of spin around and using that hip on hip L shape and frog ride to then get a hook in, which is really good. The other way of taking someone's back is usually a frog mount, okay? So what I want to do to help encourage uh, Jay uh, to take the back um, is I want to take his arm around into what's now called a gift wrap. Okay, apologies, <laughs> at some point throughout this entire process, I'm gonna shout out, who's your daddy? <laughs> it's not, I don't really want to know who your daddy is unless you really want to tell me. But for years, we have called this position, who's your daddy, okay? Now, when, you, when you're coaching little children, um, <laughs> who's your daddy? It doesn't look great as a coach, so we've now changed this to gift wrap, okay? So we've got a couple of different ways of getting into this position, okay? So what we can do is we can come over and start pushing the elbow and the arm across, place our chest behind the elbow to come around and grab just above the hand. Okay, so it's kind of the wrist area. The other, which is far more complex, is to punch him. Okay, <laughs> so as we start striking and hitting here, this is our very technical mechanism of getting their hands up, okay? Because if they don't, they get punched in the face. What I never want to see, uh, don't lift your chin off the mat. I don't want to see your head on the mat if you're the bottom person, you get hit twice. And I don't want to see you slipping from this position. <laughs> this guy's so good. As soon as you start slipping, it goes to the side and start clobbering your ear. Okay, or oh, just, just take your arm and go on. Okay, so we're just going to start with some open hand strikes. Yeah. And then we're going to take the hand across. And the important bit is getting our chest behind the elbow because it's going to be really hard for him to bring the arm back and get into the same position. Okay, so Jay tries to bring his elbow back. It's going to be quite difficult to do that, which is going to give me time to wrap around the back of the head to grab just over the hand. Okay, please don't do this. It's far too early. Yeah, so just there touching. And when you see one of that, the hand that you want to uh, go up a little bit, okay, I'm just going to take it across chest behind the elbow grab the wrist and then just stay in this position okay yeah are we grabbing you look like you're grabbing like that yeah so it's just above the hand so it's this kind of grip here thumb round as well yeah oh, mm -hmm. oh dark. great question it is thumb round on this one okay so it is thumb round on that because you want to get that grip because we're pulling so whereas we we use the motorbike not motorbike grip Okay, uh, for like some of the some of the submissions where we look at kind of Kimuras and Americanas. For this particular one, I want that thumb there so I can pull the arm, and this is how we're going to eventually take the back. Very good question. Any questions? No. So he's really resisting. Can you use both hands? No one's resisting. No, no. He's no, no. <laughs> <laughs> coming. No, can you use both hands? Uh, to grab the hand. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, just do one for now and you'll see why in a second when we start trying to take them to pull the back. It feels like two hands makes more sense because you've got more strength, but there are a good couple of reasons why we don't do that. Okay, all right, give it a go. One, two, three. <laughs> 